Today, we start a three part video building these two nightstands. I will upload a video each day, of course, starting today, until all three parts are uploaded. Check it in the description below, and you'll find links to parts two and three once they have been uploaded. This, however, is part number one the making of two barn door nightstands. I hope you like it. Today, I'm back in the shop and I'm making these two barn sliding door nightstands. Stick around and check out how we do this. Today, we're working off some more plans here. We're gonna be making two of these nightstands. Uh, I've been asked to make these for a buddy of mine. They want one for each side. This isn't the complete plans. There's gonna be a barn door on the front as you saw in the description to the video. So this is the plans for the actual nightstand. We'll add the barn door later and I'll have separate plans for it. I have a little cut list here. I made this in Excel. This is how I'm gonna break down a sheet of plywood to get every, uh, to get the two sides, the middle shelf and the bottom shelf out of the plywood. Everything else will come out of solid wood. So this is how I'm gonna break down that plywood to make sure I don't waste any and to make sure that I can get all of it out of one sheet. We have, we're going to cut eight pieces out of it and we'll have a little bit left over for the braces and other things that we need in the project. We're going to start off by cut, rough cutting this over on my workbench with my circular saw. We'll rough cut it to 58 and a half inches. Then we'll come to the table saw and, work, and cut that piece down to two 29 inch sections. And that's how tall this base will be. A couple things to note here is you can see I drew a square on this side. And on this side, along with on the other two ends as well, that is to denote the factory edges after I make this cut. Now we'll cut the sides down to their final length of 16 inches. Now we're going to cut a dado that is three quarters of an inch wide and two and a quarter inches from the bottom. You will need to do this for both sides of your end table. This cut will come at 15 and a quarter inches from the bottom. Again, a three quarter inch dado. Now we're taking the last piece from the sides that we already cut up. It's rough cut and we're going to cut this to 15 inches wide and then we'll come back and cut it to final length in a minute. So off camera I went ahead and cut some of my braces that I'll need. They're not cut to final length, but they're cut to cut to final width already. But after you get done rough cutting, I mean uh, cutting all of your plywood to final dimensions, if you're making two of these, this is how much plywood you have left. Just a little bit of scrap there from this, and that, overall that's pretty good efficiency for making two of these out of one sheet of plywood. Now of course we'll come back and trim this out in one bond material, but as far as the actual structure of this all of it is right here and I'm fixing to start assembling it so you can see here what I've done is I've gone ahead and marked out where I want to put some pocket holes now, I know not everybody likes pocket holes but for this project these are all going to be hid and I don't even know if I'm going to use them but in case I want to use these to attach the top I'm going to go ahead and put them in on here they're going to go on the back of the front frame where you won't see them and there'll be even a cover plate over the front of it and on the very back at the back where there's a brace going to be Okay, I've already went ahead and dry assembled my project. 
Now I'm gonna go back, add glue and, to the joints and get ready to assemble this thing together. And I can see a little bit of squeeze out here on the back, and that's good. We want to see that. It means we got good coverage, and I don't see any glue runs really, so we're in good shape. So I'm going to start here on the back. I don't know if you can really see. This piece is going to go, pocket holes are going to go facing up to attach the top, and then I'm going to have them on the inside, and it's going to go just like this here. So I'm going to put some glue and then screw it in place. Make sure if you have any glue squeeze out, you either use like a putty knife and get it off or wipe it off with a damp rag or something because if you don't, then when you go back to stain, it's going to leave marks where those, that glue is at. So I think we're going to set this aside and let it dry. And I'll, I'll add the bottom here, same way to the top, after I let it dry just a little bit before I turn it back over on its back. So I'll add just a little bit of glue, and it really shouldn't take much. Make sure you come back tomorrow to check out the next video in this series. Like I said, this is a three-part series for the nightstands. If you want to see some behind the scenes footage from this video, check in the description below for a link to my vlog channel. There you will find more footage from the build that didn't make it into the series. Thanks again for watching and as always, y'all will see me next time.